The first part that I'm gonna do first is I'm going to draw out on my final piece of paper that first big shape. So I'm gonna draw that out on my piece of paper and I'm gonna cut that out. So I just have this one big shape for my cupcake. Then I know that I need to cut out the smaller shape up here. So I am going to trace what I have here onto another piece of paper and then I can simply cut out this top part so that I just have that one shape. I have just cut out this top part of the frosting for my cupcake as a second layer. So my base that I started with and now I have that second layer that I can put on top of my cupcake. And now I need to cut out these three separate shapes that will fit on top of this second layer. So in order to make sure that I'm getting the shapes um, drawn and cut in a way that is going to fit inside of those, I traced around the top of the frosting again, and then I drew where I want the frosting, that second layer to kind of come out to show the depth of that part of the frosting. So now I can cut those three shapes out so that I can have that next layer. The other part that I wanted to have for that detail was the bottom. So again, I had that part of the cupcake traced so that I can cut out those parts of the cupcake and have some different details there for that part of the cupcake. Now you can see that I cut out those shapes and I have my third layer that I'm putting and adding kind of just to set aside of, on my bottom layer for my cupcake. So now I have these bottom pieces for the bottom part of my cupcake. I have my big bottom layer, I have my top layer, and then I have these smaller shapes that are going on top of my frosting. So now all I need to do is draw those final that final layer. So to do that, I'm going to again take that last layer that I just that I just cut out. I'm going to take my my piece of paper and I'm going to trace around that shape so that I can know again how big and where do I kind of want that last layer to be that's going to have that frosting layer. So I can kind of decide and just draw inside of that so I can see, okay, that's kind of where I'd like to have that last layer that's gonna also have my sprinkles and my negative space. And then I can do that with the other three and then cut them out and add them as my last layer before I start gluing everything together. Once I finish cutting out my final layer and I finish cutting in the negative space that I wanted, I now have all of my layers that I'm ready to glue together and assemble. And the nice thing about not having glued, glued anything down yet is that I can still kind of play around with where I want my layers to go. So instead of my layers being exactly on top of each other, I kind of want them to come up a little bit on that first layer. And same thing with some of the other layers to kind of offset them just a little bit because sometimes the frosting isn't um, quite symmetrical on the inside and it comes up a little bit. And then once I start my gluing process, I can decide whichever way I wanted to create my layers and what I wanted to put in between. For mine, I have little dots of hot glue um, and I was very careful in how I put them down so that there is that space between each one of my layers. And then I can really see the depth in my relief sculpture with all of those details of my sprinkles and the shapes in my bottom, in the bottom of my cupcake.